So this is my first game side tutorial, so I'll be doing a first of my first tutorial quickly on how to make um, a, um, a game translation, a menu translation in the same scene and a quick menu, okay? So I'm just gonna do this quickly. So I've got the images already I made already. So let's go. So I need to create my background credits. This one you can make already on the internet very fast. It's not hard. You can just go online and you can find simple applications or websites that can just give you backgrounds or images quickly, which I have made easily. Let me just get this quickly. Um, okay, so I've got three fingers. Okay, firstly we want this scene to be double because this is the, this is how my one works. So 480 times two is 960. And 300 times 2 is four, 640. So we just want this background to be white. I want it to be white, but you don't have to be white. So we're going to get dragging your background. So we want this to be good and nice. There. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm going to double my background, but you can get like a big background if you wanted to. I just want my one to be the same background. Because I like the background. And this was made using a simple website that just offer, offer making, offer, that offer backgrounds. Okay, so it's still done like that easily. Now I'm gonna turn it, drag in my title. I'm gonna get my settings here, credits, my settings, and I forgot one more, which is play. Okay. So that's all right. Now we want. So my my game my screen sh translation is like it moves in the same skin, which is, I like it because it's in the same scene and he doesn't have to change anything. You don't have to do some um, scene changement, fade like fade effects or any other effects, because it's hard kind of hard to do effects like in, you do in PowerPoint in Game Solid. So I'm gonna do like we need to get different. You get you need to get a setting title. I'm gonna copy that and paste it, put it here for the title, you can get credit title and paste it and put it here. So we're gonna need a menu like this is for like like a back button I made already but it's called menu for some reason, I don't know why. But it's simple, you just need to get a just draw a dot and an equal sign to make the sign easily. We're gonna need two of them. So so the air so the screen goes back to the menu back to, back to the center origin, okay? So we made this already. So easily done. Okay, then perfect. So now let's just name our actors. So we just done that easily. Just need to get them what the what the purpose are. So first, you are gonna make a new actor, and we're gonna call this guide. We guide it because you guide the camera, okay? And like comma guide and you know guide and you'll be guiding the settings. But it'll be the main guide, okay? So drag it in. Let's just call this red, cause no green, green is nice, green is pretty pretty as pink okay so we're going to put there over settings but this will go invisible later on okay so we, we want okay first we need to make two variables two integer variables this is going to be move up and a new one move right and this will be zero okay we don't, we don't need the value okay so we need to un double click this and we want it to we want to make a rule which if it's touch we want it to accelerate towards up position so we're going to do the up first which is 90 and we want to keep a speed of 3500 you can just give any you can give more than that if you want if you want to go really fast so we're going to place we want to be ready to the scene okay 
to turn easily I see now quickly now it goes up okay so we forgot to meet okay we need this control camera and we're just gonna move our camera right the, the whatever the, I don't know what I need to name it but okay there so it goes up and it goes there okay good Okay, so down. Okay, so now we want this. We're gonna make another variable. We want another actor? We're gonna call this block. Okay, so we're gonna drag it in. This will be an actor sucker block, really, and it will be blocking this um, our guide from moving far away and going up forever. Okay, so we want it to collide with block. So bounce when it collides. And we're gonna change the guides guide settings physics to bounciness to zero I'm gonna go to blocks and we're gonna change the block settings to physics to bounciness to zero we want it to be un unmovable so we're gonna take that click and it goes up simply it stops like that so we're just gonna move this bit up so it doesn't get seen okay done okay so we want this to come back when it goes when he when it when it goes up we want it to move down also so we're gonna open our coding so we want to open the rule already made and we want to when it accelerates up we want to change attribute we're gonna go to settings attribute scene and we'll do move up we want that to make it to one you can just okay you can just make it to one okay and now we're gonna do okay so when it hits when it gets touched it will go up and you change the attribute to move up to one okay now we're gonna go to the other code we already made for settings back we're gonna open it we're gonna make a rule when it's touched we want to we want to we want to it to change the attribute of the move up we made so we attributes scene move up we want it to make it to 2 okay so we're gonna make another variable here we want it to roll so wait let me just make change the rule name up so you don't get confused always then close that and that so we want it to we want we make a, make a rule and when attribute of the move up so it'd be attributes scene move up equals to 2 we want it to accelerate down to 2 to 4 to 270 with a speed of 3400 and when it's when it goes down it's gonna collide with, uh, with credits so we want to make credits unmovable and we want the balance balance to be zero so when we can we're gonna go back to here and take this one gonna collide it collides with credits, which are yeah. It's an RC. Press, you go up with the speed of 3500. You press that, then you go down. Simple as that. Quickly done. This is make make it faster. So now we just done a simple coding for the up one. So we need to do. So we need to do it now when you go to the left to right. So we're gonna copy the block one already. Same settings, and that's alright. We're going to rotate to 90. Okay, we're going to make one here and we want it to make one here. So when it moves back, it would not go all the way to the left and just carry on doing it for the whole time. And when it wants to go back, it would just be so bad. So first, we'll just check it out first. Up. Wow. Okay, we want to okay, let's just change the friction of it. And this needs to zero. Don't know why it's doing this. Okay. Oh, I gave it to 400. Sorry. I meant 4000. Okay. So it goes up there and back. Up. And back. Up. And back. Okay, good. So now it's good. Okay, we want to go right. We're gonna close all the other ones. 
so we make rule um, I want it we want to okay we're gonna make the other one first so we're gonna go get we're gonna get a guide settings again for the same thing we're gonna call the guide settings to here and we're gonna cover the credits okay we're gonna lock it and we want it touched when it, a roll when it's touched we want it to change attribute of the move up so attributes scene I mean move right to one then we go to the other code and we want it to when the attribute of the move right equals one we want it to accelerate to the right which is zero and the speed of four thousand relative to actor scene so now let's see this good so you can still see it here so it's kind of bad so I just move it here you can't see our credits for some reason because it's gone back but it's in the background so we need to send it to front not to back so now here and you go the wrong way okay so now you see the actor is moving down as it goes to the right so we need to you know what because at the moment when it's scrolling down it's still the variable of the move up is still 2 so what we need to do here we need to we need to do we're going to change the settings we're going to add the timer so after 3 seconds after 0, okay, 0 0.5 seconds we want the attribute of the move up to go to 0 okay so now let's see it goes up and it goes down it goes up it goes down it's so alright now it goes okay don't know why I did that okay let's try that again sorry zero okay okay let's see Wait, sorry. Let's add the timer here. After zero point five, we wanted to change attribute of the same thing again. So attributes scene move up to zero. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna move the other code we made from there. We're gonna move the timer we made already. So now it should work. Goes up, goes down, to the right, done, beautiful. So now we want it to move back also. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna make the same rule. Rule touched. We want it to change attribute we want to change attribute of of um sorry attributes seen to the move right we want to change it to two and we're gonna write in the same thing here again so we're gonna make another rule here we want it to um, if the attribute of of the scene move right equals two, we want it to accelerate the opposite way. We have four thousand speed. Uh, we want it to change the attribute of it to zero. So we're going to put a timer after. 0 0.5 seconds that's if we want it to change the attribute of, of 
move right to zero. So now we should be pretty finished. So it goes up, it goes down, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Okay. So now it looks beautiful and sim this is kind of simple way I made. But you can use many switch. But there's other ones you can use like making the act drag. But uh, this is the one for not dragging. Okay. So we want we want to change the graphics of the guide. We want to make it invisible. We change this graphics also to make it invisible. And we're gonna change this one also. We don't want to be seen invisible. And that's all we need to change. You can change. We can change the other ones to make it invisible. But it's not necessary. So now, this is a complete piece. So let's just do it quickly. You can play around the settings to make the acceleration of it faster or quicker you want to. And if you want to know anything about the background or the text or things that I've used in this thing, just ask in the question box. Okay, that's it. That's enough for me today. And bye. See ya. If you want more tutorial, just tell me.